430. All right, thanks, Gary. And while most of us are trying to stay inside during this freeze out, several brave people camping outside to show their support for the homeless. Allison Bruner is out there facing the Arctic chill with them live this afternoon at First Christian, Christian Church of Blue Springs. Hey, Allison. Hi, Justin. Well, first, I just want to give you an idea of how cold it is right now. I downloaded an app for a thermometer on my phone, and right now in Blue Springs, it says that it's 22 degrees. Now, volunteers tell me despite the cold, helping to make a difference is worth it all, and that's what keeps them warm. Just put on as much as it takes. Pastor Caton will need as many as he can get when he and several others called his makeshift camp home for the next few days. They are participating in the ninth annual Operation Chill Out, also known as Freezing for a Reason. It's exactly what it sounds like folks sleeping yeah. in huts that they build in only a campfire to keep them warm. This is what folks will be sleeping inside tonight to help keep them warm. This is actually a pool cover that helps insulate and block the wind. Every time this is over, I am so grateful that I have some place that I can get warm, that I can go into and I don't have to think about it next week. I don't have to live out here. I think the thing that, rem that I'm reminded of is that they can't. They are completely dependent on our help in our community. The congregation hoping this makeshift homeless camp will draw attention to the community to help make donations. It's already caught the attention of Rachel, a bus driver, who says she knows what it's like to live on nearly nothing. It means that person stays alive for that day. Hey, whatever we can do, we can help out. We've all been there. Believe me, bus drivers, we don't make a lot of money. We collected a whole bunch of hats, gloves, uh, coats. Everybody put in together. This weekend, church members hope to collect around 5,000 blankets to hand out to the homeless across the metro. The church is also collecting hats, gloves, and money. Pastor Caton says every penny counts and recalls one little girl's story who dropped off a jar of pennies. We took the 76 cents, and instead of putting it toward a blanket, we took those each penny, and we, don't, we took them out to people who worked in the community and shared that story and said, what, what can you do with this penny? Raising awareness, no matter what the temperature, now through Sunday. And right now, as you can see, volunteers are preparing that makeshift homeless shelter. And they're building little, I guess, huts like this that they will be sleeping in overnight. Now, just I can tell you, this actually is not the coldest night for them. One of the organizers told me that, believe it or not, it was minus seven one year. That is cold. Hopefully it does not get that cold for them. Uh, live in uh, out here, and we will bring you another live update in about a half an hour. In Blue Springs, I'm Allison Bruner. Justin? All right, uh, dangerously cold uh, for those who actually are homeless, for sure. Thank you, Allison.